Happy Friday, everyone. With Thanksgiving being yesterday, I've been thinking a lot about family gatherings. Growing up, I always liked to think that I had the best, the best of both worlds when it comes to extended family. On my dad's side, he has a couple of siblings and with each a couple of kids. So because of that, we had small gatherings. We were always able to have small gatherings at my grandma's house for the holidays, uh, Christmas, Easter, even sometimes Thanksgiving. The kids had the basement where we were, where tables were set up and always had games to play and the adults had the upstairs. I always loved hanging out with my cousins and we made a lot of memories there. We always had more dessert options than meal options. And as we got older, it was harder to get everyone there, but we always still try to get together for some of the holidays every year. Then there's my mom's side of the family. She has 12 siblings, so it's quite a bit bigger than my dad's side. Growing up, we tried to get at least one reunion a year with everyone, aunts, uncles, cousins, even second cousins. There's a lot. But again, I love these gatherings and talking with everyone in my family. It was always a big gathering, as you can imagine, and loud. And growing up, there would always be someone I was meeting for the first time or seeing a family member I hadn't seen in a long time. And as the years went on, it got harder and harder again to have reunions as each separate family unit, unit got bigger. But even if it's with a few here and there, I always love going to these gatherings, having nonstop conversations as the family loves to talk <laughs> and with family members and catching up. Both sides very different in gatherings, in size, but one thing always remained the same, the love for each other. No matter what gathering I was at, who was there, I knew that we all had each other's backs, no matter what. No matter how long it had been since seeing some of these family members, there was no doubt there was love in these gatherings. And so I want to leave you with this. No matter what your Thanksgiving looked like yesterday, what Christmas may look like this year, let us be grateful for those we have around us, physically and maybe even virtually this year, and those who may not be there this year. Every family looks different, but there's one thing that remains in each, and that's the love. And so as we continue into Thanksgiving weekend and move into Advent and Christmas, let us remember that embrace it, and thank God for our families. Have a great day.